Hey, Lou, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review the Beatles' debut 1963 album, Please Please Me. It just hit its 60th anniversary last month, and it's pretty alright. It hasn't aged as well as some of their other work, uh, but the impressive thing with this album is that they pretty much recorded it in just one day. Uh, they, they went through all of the songs they were playing live at the time and just did it all in one day which is pretty pretty impressive considering that it's it's pretty pretty good for the time this is the track listing about half of the tracks here are covers out of the 17 tracks i believe six of them are covers so that's just one under half and uh these are the tracks i added to my playlist eight out of 14 just one over half side one is a lot better than side two but side two does have enough decent tracks not to bring down the album the main problem is that this album's pretty dated a lot of the songs here are very clearly uh just early 60s pop stuff and they get a little boring and they they don't really <laughs> they haven't aged well is basically the best way to describe it but the best songs here still still hold up, and most of the songs here are still pretty good. So ultimately, this album is all right overall with a few really good tracks. Uh, there were a handful of singles released before the album, uh, starting with Love Me Do, P.S. I Love You, Please Please Me, and Ask Me Why. Radio wasn't really quite the same uh, back then, but I think most of the songs on this album were on the radio at the time a lot of them were this album was a big hit um in britain <clears throat> and then not as much so in the u.s until they re-released it a year or two later uh about a year later i think my favorite song here i gotta go with the opening track i saw her standing there it's definitely one of the best songs on the album and really showcases sort of the best of the the early 60s pop sound um, Please Please Me, the title track, is also really good, and Love Me Do is very interesting and still holds up pretty well, I will say. Now, I ranked this album last out of all the Beatles albums, not because this album is bad, but rather because they they just get significantly better over time. They only improve over the next three to four years, really, and, you know, they, they improve significantly. Uh... Even the, the albums that come out right after this, I would say, are probably more polished. Uh, so, for example, this album isn't my favorite from 1963. That goes to the Beatles' second album with the Beatles. They released in the same year. With the Beatles isn't a... I will say it's it's definitely... I think it's an improvement over this album. Uh, but I think that's mostly because it's just a bit more polished. Uh, a bit more polished, a bit more put together, and, and just a, a little bit better. Um, I, I think in general, all of the Beatles albums after this were, were just better than this one. Although this one is still pretty good, which kind of speaks to their quality overall. So, but yeah, this please, please me is, is still all right. A bit dated, but definitely all right. Next up is ABBA's debut 1973 album, Ring Ring. It also, well, it hit its 50th anniversary last month, so now is a pretty good time to review it. And it's it's pretty alright, so stay tuned for that, and as always, stay minty.